Today we are going to make a barometer out of things we found in our house. All you'll need to do this experiment is a quart mason jar, a plastic drinking straw, a balloon, scissors, tape, and a rubber band. First thing you're going to want to do is blow up that balloon and stretch it out a little bit so it's a little easier to work with. Right, you're going to need to cut the end off the balloon. Two extra hands sometimes help make this work a little better. Now we will put the balloon over the top of the jar. All right, get that rubber band stretched around the balloon to help keep it on top of the jar. Next step is to take your straw and we're going to cut the ends off of it to make a point. So now we have a point on both ends. You're going to take your tape and you are going to tape one of the ends onto the middle of the balloon on the jar. So we have our barometer we made yesterday. We also made, took a piece of paper and folded it so we could stand it up. And we had cloudy skies yesterday, so we drew a little cloud to show the middle. So why are we using this barometer? We're using it to measure air pressure. Air is full of molecules. They are pushing on everything. So inside the jar, the air molecules are pushing on the sides of the jar and on the balloon. Outside the jar, the air molecules are pushing on the outside of the jar and the balloon. Today, everything's kind of in balance. It's a cloudy, a cloudy gray sky. But if we have a high pressure system come in and air pressure pushes down on top of the balloon, it's going to cause that straw to rise up into our sunny sky zone. If we have a low pressure system come through, the pressure inside the jar is going to be higher than outside the jar, and that will push up on the balloon from the inside and cause the straw to point down towards a rainy sky. So that is what you can tell with your barometer you've made at home. Why don't you see if you can make one and if it matches the weather you see outside your window? Thanks for watching. A few days after we made our barometer, the skies cleared and we had blue sky with bright sunshine. The barometer was pointing to the sunny symbol on our chart because the outside air pressure was higher and pushing down on the balloon. Two days later, the weather changed again, bringing high winds and rain with thunder and lightning. The air pressure inside the jar was higher than the outside air pressure, causing the balloon to push up and move the straw to point at the rain symbol. We hope you can see this in the pictures we took. One thing we learned was to make sure the balloon was pulled very tight across the jar and sealed with a rubber band. We hope you enjoyed our science experiment and are able to try this on your own. Thanks for watching.